Okay. I just watched this um, movie today called Unthinkable, right? With Samuel L. Jackson, and it's very, very bloody good. I downloaded it off the internet. I was trying to download um, Prince of Persia so I could review it, and that cocked up. And I saw this other thing on the same website called Unthinkable with um, Samuel L. Jackson. And basically, the plot of it, the synopsis, if you will, was basically where you got three nuclear bombs all across America. And you got someone like Jackson as like this, um, what would you call it, interrogator, right? And I thought, okay, yeah, B movie, sweet. And I saw it, and this thing was fucking epic. It was very good, very, very good. Um, like the ending, it stays with you for a long time. I mean, this the it sucker punches you the ending. I mean. I haven't seen an ending and a story as good as this film since I'm thinking probably Mist, the Mist. You know, this 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 thing's gonna stay with me for a long time. I mean, it was it was bloody good. And um, yeah, it was bloody good. And then um, I had this guy in, um, called I think his name is Martin Sheen. He played, he was a um, he played Tony Blair. In the Queen, and he played um, Frost in Nixon, the interviewer. He does normally like a character actor, but he plays um, real life people. And it was his first role, and he was playing the terrorist they were interrogating. And my God, this guy does a fucking good job. Like seriously, and you got you. We've also got Trinity, Trinity, you know, Carrie Ann Moss. Is, um, she's like this FBI investigator, and she doesn't buy the book. And Samuel L. Jackson, he's basically this. Interrogator that they have over in, um, where the, um, he, he's the type of guy that was over there in Afghanistan doing all the water boarding and all the, um, illegal shit which they, they put a stop to because of human rights and the Geneva Convention and what have you. That's like Obama stopped that. Well, this is all about how far this guy go and how far the audience members themselves would go if there was actually a substantial nuclear threat in this city where thousands upon millions of people would die. You know? How far would you go? And that's why it's called unthinkable. Because Samuel L. Jackson's character is the type of guy who will do unthinkable things if it's needed. And it's not a, it's not a, it's not obsessed with its own gore. It's not a hostel. No, no, not at all. It, it doesn't ravel in it, but it just, it does it so well. It's, it's like, it's not even casual violence, but it's just the way that it's done is just, it's really well done. I mean, you've, you've got to wait. You've got to watch this thing because it doesn't. It doesn't actually take either side. I mean, the fact the fact of the matter is that Martin, Martin Sheen's character in in this is a terrorist. You you think that he's just your average Al Qaeda scumbag asshole, you know. And then when he gives his first list of demands, you actually like, what the fuck? Like it's completely unexpected what he asked for. And as a consequence of that, like the whole is like a massive role reversal. Like you think, okay, yeah, okay, maybe this guy does actually have a point with what he's trying to do, you know. And then you you question Samuel L. Jackson's role in it. Like, and it's just, it's so well done. And the ending, my my God, it's, 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 it's crazy. This film, you need to watch this film. And then, and then, right, after how, the, the sucker punch of the ending, right, I, I actually think, okay, yeah, you know what, I, I, I'll go to watch this. I'll go to watch it. I'll go to my missus and watch it. Right, cinema. So I go online to take a look at when it comes out in England and what have you. And guess what, guys? Guess what? This thing doesn't even have a fucking release date. This thing's going to go straight to DVD. Right? It's on Michael Sheen's um, website here, and it says, I'm thinking it might be an apt title in more than one way, um, given that the star-studded psychological thriller has so far failed to secure a theatrical release date in the US, and looks increasingly likely to go straight to DVD in the UK in the next few months. Right? A film which seems to be undecided as to whether it's sympathetic with the terrorists, or the so-called good guys, right? as it seems to, to suggest in the trailer, was always going to be a hard sell, said the movie critic and broadcaster. Right? But just this thing is just it's it's movie quality, you know. After all the shit, all the like, I know I raved on about Hot Tub Time Machine, but like when was the last time? Think about this, guys. When was the last? Girls, when was the last time you went to the cinema and watched a decent psychological thriller? One that really fucked with your head, like really, really went there and mind raped you, you know, and stays with you, you know, for a long fucking time, like, and it's just. It's, it's, 
inconceivable to me as how you can get you can get chick flicks like Remember Me, um, what's this other one? Kite, um, Letters to Jessica, fucking Shrek 50, and whatever. And and you have a solid cast with Samuel L. Jackson, Carrie Ann Moss, and fucking Michael Sheen. This guy, when you see him in this, this guy, this guy can act. You know, and Samuel L. Jackson character, my God, Samuel L. Jackson hasn't been in a good film like this in a long, long time. You know, like a long, long, long fucking time. And just, this thing is so good. I'm just, you need to watch it. Like, it, if you like The Mist and you like a good psychological thriller and you're not, you don't get all, you're willing to listen to the other side of the debate on the War of Terror, right? Not that I support Al-Qaeda and that they're all a bunch of good guys or fucking half-wits or what have you. No, no, no. I'm talking about the moral values. Like, you, you see things and then you question yourself, okay, because it's like, how how can a suicide bomber do all these things? And then when you watch it, when you watch this thing, it it really, it hits home. It's definitely worthwhile to watch. Samuel L. Jackson, top of his game in this thing. And Unthinkable is shockingly good. So, check it out. My Prince of Persia review will be coming up. And to be honest, just nah, fuck that shit. Anyway, they out, and every one of us is expendable. See you there, guys and girls.